Vitani, and thank you so much for tuning into this episode of The Living Show, Living in Shelby Township. I am here at one of my favorite annual events, the 2022 Shelby Township Art Fair, and I'm so excited to walk around and see what the art fair has to offer this year. So come with me. <music> just passing this booth and it really caught my eye the things in here and I wanted to talk to the owners Gail and Craig. Gail, Craig, how are you guys doing? We're doing great. We're doing great. It's a beautiful day. It is. It's The overcast kind of makes it nice. It's not so hot. It's so nice. So, okay, I took a look around. I really want to know about this stuff. Can you tell me about these in particular first? Sure. Our beer sticks. So what are they? I see you have some for cornhole, some that are just kind of decorated for like beach life or lake life type of thing so I see do you put your cups in here or do you put just anything in there well it can be for any beverage you have two styles the ground style and the patio style the patio style has the fun base they're just a portable table with personality they're fun and they're functional they really are I see that you've got so many different kinds how hard is it to make these Craig oh, what do you answer it is hard enough yeah how long does it take you to make one uh, too long too long? Way too long. That's, that is very vague and I like it. Um, what's the hardest one that you've made? Oh, we, well, it wouldn't really be out. These are, all, these are all standards, but we make a lot of custom ones. We had a lady that wanted uh, grapevine leaves up the stem one time, so we can do that. We can do anything, uh, anything anybody would like custom. This is really cool. I have never seen anything like this, and this is really unique and very cool. And another thing that is so unique over here is these giant solar lights. Oh, Tell me about that. Oh, these are, this is what they do. They backlight themselves at night. So this is daytime, this is nighttime. They're not designed to spotlight the sky, but to backlight the flowers so you enjoy your flower all night long. That is so smart. Yeah. I know I was gonna say I've never would have thought of that, but that is such a great idea. What what inspired you to come up with that? Well, my husband and my son create everything here. They're all their designs, their creations that starts with flat metal, takes it all the way through powder coat. I just love this booth. I walked right past it and I thought, I'm going to have to talk to those folks. So thank you so much for sharing that with me today. And I hope that people stop and get these. These are very cool. my good buddy Joe Youngblood. Joe, how are you? Doing great. How are you guys doing? We are good. It is so busy here and there's so much to see. There's so much going on. Give us a little bit of information about this year versus last. Sure. Well, Art Fair 2022, Riverbends Park. Um, it's amazing the amount of compliments that we had at this park. I mean, this park's 725 acres. It's like a big horseshoe, yeah. great parking, um, and it surrounds the entire area. And you can see from the amount of people here and the smiles on their faces, what a great location. It really is. There's, and it feels, is there more vendors this year? Well, that's the funny thing is there really isn't compared to the old place at 24 and Van Dyke, but it looks so much bigger. It really yeah. does. It's like, oh, maybe it's an optical illusion, but there really is so many vendors here and so much to see. So give us an idea of what it takes to put on this event. Well, this is something that doesn't take a couple weeks. This no. starts uh, when this fair ends, prep work starts beginning for next year so we have our staff on it it's a year-round event really you know a little bit at a time and it all comes together thanks to the art fair committee our staff Jessica Thomas and the whole staff uh, we just all, all all worked hard and pulled it off and and thanks to the other departments here and thank you to the township board for supporting this event so I actually have a question for future possible vendors if people want to be a vendor for next year who do they contact or where do they go to get that information Give us a call, 731-0300, Shelby Township Parks and Rec, and we will get them all the information they need. Perfect. So is there anything else special you want us to know about this 2022 Shelby Township Art Fair? Um, we have a, a couple changes like we do every year. We have more bands this year playing on both sides of the parking lot, which has been a nice touch. Um, we have more bouncers this year. 
along with the added music, and we have quite a few more food trucks. So come on out, and uh, if you see this before it's over, come on out. If not, give us a call, and we'll get the date on your calendar for next year. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Joe, for talking to us. Thank you. I walk past this booth where Emily here is currently painting one of the pictures that she's possibly going to sell today. Emily, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, it looks like you were busy here at work painting this picture. This is gorgeous. How long does it take to do one of these pictures? Um, this will take me a while. I started it so I can show people, but like my fairy one over here, that took a few months. These are all stunningly beautiful. I was going to say, is that around the time it takes you a lot, two months-ish to do a big um, one like that? I've had a big one that took up to a year. Oh my gosh, that's a long time. How often do you paint? Every day. Every single day. Every this day. is a boom it's business, it's right? Business. That's yeah. right. So um, how do people go about ordering pictures for, from you? A lot of it is word of mouth, my shows, um, social media. Um, personal contact, that's why I put my phone number on the business card. I think that's just so cool. So thank you so much for being here and talking with thank us today. So yeah, thanks. Tammy, how are you doing? I'm well. How are you, Taylor? Good. So I know that you just got here not too long ago, but I see, especially the area we're in, there is tons to see. Is there anything that you're specifically looking for when you came here today? Nothing specific. Uh, I was here last year. I had a great time, and I thought I'd come by again this year. Yeah, I, I mean... the year 2022. That's right. We're living in the future, baby, right? That's right. I see that there is so many, between all the woodworking stuff, all the painting stuff, everybody's got their own little unique touch on everything. Um, as far as food, there's so much to see. Are you excited for today? I am very excited. They have a live band here, more than one. Two, I was gonna say, there's one on this side and there's one on the other side. A few of them, actually. There's another stage over there by the food vendors. Are you gonna be checking out the music and stuff then too? I am, definitely. Yeah, that's very cool. Well, we just wanted to stop and say hi and see how you were liking the art fair so far. So thank you so much for stopping to talk to us. Nope. Kimberly, I see that you have such a variety of colorful and really beautiful soaps here, and I handmade, right? Yes, yes. It's everything is cold processed. So, and you come from the business Faye and Whim Soapworks, that's right? Yep, Faye and Whimsy Soapworks. Yep. Okay. And as far as the soaps, can you tell us a little bit about your different scents and everything? Well, I do hand make everything myself. Um, we've got about 65 different scents here today. Um, we normally run anywhere between 70 and 80 fragrances, but we've sold out of quite a few today, which is good. What's your best seller? Uh, actually, patchouli. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't guess that, but makes sense, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. Um, it's one of our best sellers, so. I just love how much color you have in your things. Like, that's, it's so, it's almost so good looking you could eat it. I, um. She's know. like, don't eat it. <laughs> I, I've been accused of uh, being a fudge maker more than once. Yeah, it so. really does. It looks like it could be. If it wasn't in the package with the soap on it, yeah, I would think maybe it was fudge. So what inspired you to start this business? Um, actually, it, I was always fascinated by soap making, and then my daughter has really sensitive skin, and so, you know, you if you can't find what you need, you make it yourself. Yeah. So. If people want to order online, can they? Absolutely. Uh, it's at fayeandwhimsysoapworks.com. Do you, are you on Facebook or social media? Uh, we are on Facebook. We are also at the Busy Bugs Artisan Market down in uh, downtown Rochester. And we are at the uh, Canterbury Village Michigan Made Market as well. Well, that's amazing. Well, thank you so much, Kimberly, for talking with us today. I'm going to definitely take a good look around at all these beautiful soaps. But thank you so much for being here and for talking with us. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.
This is Alyssa and Jacqueline. They've been walking around the art fair here today. Have you just got here not too long ago or were you here? Um, we've been here for about an hour, I think. Yeah. What kind of things have you seen today? Um, well, we just grabbed some jewelry. Ooh, pretty. Very cute. <laughs> is there anything that you came that you were kind of specifically looking for? or? Um, my, really. my mom's friend has a vent, or one of the tents here, so oh. we came to look at her jewelry. And yeah, well that's cool. So have you seen anything that's kind of stunned you today or anything very unique or different? Um, not really. Not that I can... Just really cool things yeah, people can buy? Stuff, yeah, it's yeah. like really great stuff here. And the food, have you guys tried any of the food? Oh, uh, no, we but grabbed it, looks, some it smells boba. really good. Yeah, which is I was going to say, I was just talking to someone about how I've never had one of those. Are they good? So First good. time. They're awesome. Yeah. They're oh, awesome. man. All right. Well, I just wanted to top and talk to you guys and see if you guys have seen anything that's kind of stuck out to you or whatever. But thank you so much for talking with us. So the woodwork around here. I did see a lot of woodwork around here. Yeah. So you check that out a little bit? Uh, next time when I have a house, I'll be coming back for that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. Well, thank you, ladies, so much. Mark. Mark is selling these really cool wooden things here. I want to know more about what's going on here. Can you tell me? Hi. Um, so yeah, this is my fourth year here at the Shelby uh, Art Fair and the wooden items down here are some of the euchre sets and uh, scoreboards. Um, I also have laser cutting and laser etching activities and some cutting boards. I see you have a lot of items here. What is like your best seller? Euchre sets. Euchre sets? Set, and then the stars that are behind me to the, to the left. You know, I never learned how to play euchre. Always wanted to. Maybe now's the time, right? Yes, could be. I could have a really nice new euchre set. You right? could. It's a very much a Midwestern game. I hear. I know. It's one of those things where everybody I know knows how to do it, and I don't, and I don't know why. Yeah. But anyway, so as far as the euchre sets, how much should they run for? So they're twenty-eight dollars for the box set and eighteen dollars for the cube. And your business, Nature's Wooden Treasures, right? Is that something where people can go online and order online? Yes, absolutely. And it's where do they go? Natureswoodentreasures.com. Are you on social media? Um, I am. Facebook yeah. and Instagram and all that? Facebook, but not Instagram. Okay, and all you have to do is search Nature's Wooden Treasures on there? Yes, you will. Yeah, honestly, there's so many things. I keep, like, I don't even know where to look. There's so many cool things here. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Um, <music>doing today great how are you good so you guys have been did you, did you just get here we did are you looking for anything and heading somewhere particular I'm not gonna tell you that but yes <laughs> keeping it a secret okay um, how do you like being here at the art fair this year it's my first time I really like it I, I was impressed what about you Andrew um I'd like it it's impressive to see all the craftsmanship here oh there's so many things we just took a walk around and there is like I don't even know where to look anymore there's so much but um, if you do go this way at around three o'clock, there will be a pie contest where they will be, will be, I'm one of the judges, will be tasting these pies to see who wins. So if you guys are still here around that time, head over that way. But we just wanted to stop and talk to you and see if you guys had seen any interesting businesses that you were stopping at and seeing anything, anything catching your eye? Oh, there's so much. I mean, there's a lot of woodworking. I mean, for, for me, I'd probably be looking for wall art. I don't have a big- There's place. a lot of that here. So that's going to be what I keep my eye out for. Um, we've got a couple of kids. Our two daughters are here as well. So. Oh, okay, so they're just roaming around here probably shopping, yeah? Yeah, they, they found the bounce house, so I think they'll probably find some of the other stuff as well. Oh, cool. Well, I'm glad you guys are having a good time, and thank you for stopping and talking with us. how are you doing great having so fun we are walking past your booth and these look so fun how, will you tell us a little bit about your booth thank you these are all my little pals these are all made out of socks each one's an individual pair of socks that i've created into a little creature they're all one of a kind machine wash and dryer safe 
and if you wanted to get one for your person, and I say person because every age has bought one. Yeah. From yeah. newborn to in their hundreds. I've had so many different reasons people want to buy one, but they make everybody smile. But if you get one, nobody else on the planet will have your pal. It's all one of a kind now. No two alike. I've never duplicated a pal. That is awesome. So what inspired you to start this idea? Well, um, I actually have no kids, and I do everything for everybody else's kids. And so it started out with hand-knit sweaters, but everybody got too big, and I wanted to do something individual. And when I was young, my mom made me a toy, and she said, it's not a hand-me-down. It's nothing you can just buy at the store. It's just mine. So it was very special. I can tell you have a heart of gold, and this is just so sweet. And these are so cute and unique. I love these. So how much do one of these run? They're each $20. Tax is already factored in. Technically, they're $18.87, but I made, did the math so I didn't have to have anybody deal with change or you know anything like that. Each one takes about the same amount of time to make, so I decided to keep it all real simple and straightforward. If people want to order them, can they order them online or? You know what, you can call me. I have an Instagram. It's the uh, symbol at Amy's Pals and you can find me there. Um, but basically I'm mostly at art fairs. I take care of my mom full time and I do these full time. So, oh, okay. so that's the name of your, your business is Amy's Pals, right? Amy's Pals, but my, my, my brand is my first pal. Cool. Yeah, so that definitely if people want to get one, all you got to do is go to her Instagram, right? At Amy's Pals. Oh, look, a redhead <gasps> staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Tonight we had a really fun event for the teens um, after hours when the libraries closed and we had an after hours cupcake night and we got to frost a bunch of cupcakes and learn a couple of different techniques and it was super fun and really awesome. And what we did today was some decorating on out in the wild, doing some camping. We did something with bear paws, we did a little bear in a tent. We did, um, oh, the kids were being so creative with so many different design of things. Yeah, so we were doing a nature-themed cupcakes theme today with the, with the teenagers today. Um, the kids did such an amazing job. Um, I love working with the kids. We always have a good day together, a good experience. Um, I think my favorite design was the little teddy bear campfire and giving them little s'mores to make. I think that was super cute. I think that was my favorite. Uh, my favorite design was probably doing the bear paw was my favorite because less is so much more. And then also like doing the tent with the teddy bear with his tent and the little bonfire right in front. So anything that you can do, you can do so many creative things with simple things that are right in front of you that's nothing extra. So that's the good thing that I liked about everything that we did today. It's simple things that you can find in your house that you can do so many creative things with. So we have a lot of activities during the day when the library is open, but I try to have something just for the teens after hours once a month. So sometimes we have an after hour cupcakes night, sometimes we have a murder mystery after hours, um, or sometimes we have our friends from the Nature Center come and bring some animals and we get to meet them up close and personal. Um, but yeah, once a month we try to do something just for the teens so that they can have run of the library. For anybody that wants to be a pastry chef, I say stick with it and stand behind your brand and be confident behind your brand. Don't let nobody put you under pressure. Don't let anybody do make you do anything that you don't feel like you're comfortable with doing. Humans have been gathering around fires, sharing stories for centuries. Uh-oh, it appears these hot ashes are about to be dumped. 
which could possibly start a wildfire. Oh my gosh. Bear. Wait just bear. a minute. Is that the Smokey Bear? He scared us. How will Smokey deal with such a hot situation? Precisely, the garden house defense. Next, a thorough stir. Then, another spray. And finally, the true test. Feeling if the ashes are cool. It looks like they are. Bravo. Wait, do you mind if we could just... Ah, yes. The selfie. A ritual practiced so frequently with this tribe. But not so much by Smokey Bear. Just one second. Smokey, quit. Only you can prevent wildfires. This week, I tagged along at the Shelby Township Library for the Team Nerf Wars event. The summer event was open to children grades 5 through 12, and it turned out to be very popular. I spoke with librarian Jennifer Bishop, who organized the event. So we had the Nerf Wars today as part of our summer calendar where we try to get our families in the community to visit the library to have fun. All of our events at the library are free. And we had lots of fun running around with the blasters and the darts and hiding under the obstacles and playing different games, which was great for building leadership skills and practicing team building and just having fun. You know, the big kids, they are still kids, even though they want to act all grown up. And they need a chance to run around and play and see their friends and be a kid for a little bit longer. Okay, let me get out of here. This is the second time that we've had Nerf Wars. We had it a couple years ago. I think the last time we had it, it was before the pandemic, and it's a good chance to meet up with our friends that maybe we haven't seen since the school year, or our library friends that we always see at the library. Today we had about 34 teens join us, and the last time I think we had anywhere from 40 to 50, so it looks like a lot of friends in our community really like to play Nerf. Coming up at the library, we have a Welcome to Magic the Gathering. We're going to be learning the basics of playing the card game Magic the Gathering. All of our events you can find on our events calendar on the library's website. We post all of our events on Facebook and our social media, and we have in, uh, calendars in the library as well that you can take home. And the, all the events are advertised in the newsletters that go to your house. So be sure to stay up to date on more fun events at the Shelby Township Library. This event is one of many events scheduled for the summer. From Shelby Township, this is Taylor Sikorsky. This week, I chose my own adventure by attending a Choose Your Own Adventure book club meeting at the Shelby Township Library. I interviewed the event organizer. Hey, my name is Jennifer Sunderhouse, and I'm one of the children's librarians here at the Shelby Township Library. Today, we had our Choose Your Own Adventure um, book club. We read one of the Choose Your Own Adventure books, and today we read The Magic of the Unicorn. The Choose Your Own Adventure book had a lot of surprise twists. Unfortunately, it seems as though the children weren't quite satisfied with the endings we kept landing on. Fortunately, when you choose your own adventure, you can keep going until you're happy with the ending. Raise your hand if you'd like to chase the bat. Oh, hold on. One, two, three. 
four. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We were trying to save the village, and we did. After we finished adventuring, we made three different crafts. We made a leather bracelet that we put some jewels on. We made a unicorn crown, and we did a coloring sheet as well. And it was lots of fun. Choose Your Own Adventure book club meetings will still continue into the fall where they'll meet once a month. So stay up to date on those events and other events at the Shelby Township Library by visiting the Shelby Township website or following the library on social media. From Shelby Township, this is Taylor Sikorsky. They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. said a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. always wanted to be. Thank you. Great Thank you. Thank you. Great tasting. All right. There you go. Okay. In second place, we have Alina with the Sublime Coconut Key Lime Pie. Nice All job, right. Alina. It was very, very good. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Okay. And last but not least, in first place, Cynthia with the apple of my pie. Nice job, Cynthia. Oh my God. Thank you so much to everybody who put in the pie. We loved them all. They were all so good. And we'll see you next year. I've got Cynthia here who is the big winner of the 2022 pie contest. Cynthia, how many years in a row have you won this? This is my second time. Well, Second time deserved. Honestly, it was so good. I mean, all the pies were so, so good. But the presentation, the taste, it was so, so good. So we want to thank you again so much for bringing in your pie oh, you and putting it in the contest. And we hope that you will come back again next year to do it. Oh, you better believe I will be here. Third time's the charm, so. That's right. Well, we can't wait to see you next year. And we can't wait to see all the others that are going to come and compete against Cynthia. So come on down for next year's pie contest. We will be here. We'll see you next time. And that's a wrap for the 2022 Shelby Township Art Fair. If you missed this year, please make sure you check it out next year. All that information will be posted online and make sure that you follow us and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. We'll see you next time on The Living Show.